Hi, this is Rick Maranta from Pinched Head. Today we're going to show you how to incorporate articulate and gauge interactions into your lectoral title. The first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is create our um, engage interaction. Now I've already done that here. Um, I'm using a labeled graphic interaction and I'm actually building a um, sort of a description of the interface of engage itself. So you'll see I've, I've uh, created these labels for the graphic and, and I've also placed a um, description here for each of them. You'll see um, once you edit the, the labels you'll see the description. Anyways, um, I, okay so once you have your interaction um, you're gonna want to publish that. So uh, let's just publish that. So this um, exports to HTML and a, a Flash movie with a folder with all the um, assets that it uses. So we'll just publish that. Um, since I've already published it once, um, it's just asking me do I want to replace that, so I'd say yes, just to show you uh, how this goes. The next thing we will want to do is uh, open the folder. And you'll notice here that um, here is the as are the assets for this um, interaction. This is the main Flash movie. Here's the HTML. And here are the assets that um, are called by this uh, main Flash movie. Now every time you export your um, Engage Interaction, it'll create a, this uh, directory um, called Label Graphic. Actually, it'll whatever you name your title of your interaction, it'll that will be the main folder. But inside that folder, um, the Flash movie is always named Engage, and this um, folder is always named Engage underscore content. So when we are importing it into um, Lectora, we need to make sure that we create a unique name for these. Because um, if you're using multiple Engage movies in Lectora, um, you need to have them unique um, in order for them not to overwrite each other when you when you put them in the folder. So what we do is we will rename this. Um, in this case we'll just call it labeled graphic dot SWF right and here we'll call this um, the same as this now this needs to be the same in order for this to work. I'll just show you before I do that. See if we uh, tried to run this Flash movie, you'll see that um, it's not calling the assets. That's because it's looking for a folder of the same name. So what we do here is we will name this folder. Actually, let's choose that. We'll copy that. We'll name it the beginning part, label graphic underscore content. And now, when you run it, you'll see um, the interaction works. So, okay, so that's the next, the, the the first step. So the next thing you want to do is um, open up your Lectora uh, title, and um, now we will import uh, the Flash movie from the Engage interaction. So let's go to the desktop here and I have it um, right here labeled graphic. We'll choose that and we'll say open. Okay. What Lectora will do is it will import the uh, SWF but it will not take the assets folder with it. So if you try and preview it you'll see that nothing shows up. That's because it cannot find the folder. So what we do is in order to preview it, we will take this folder and copy it. Once it's copied, um, what we'll do is we'll open up the directory where the um, Lectora title is saved. And um, you notice there's a folder um, at the root of that directory called images. Um, this is where all the files that are used in the title when you're working with the title and you're pre previewing the title are stored. So let's just uh, 
just going to view this as detailed. I'd like to work that way. So I will, what I'll do is paste that content folder in there. So you'll see here it's labeled uh, graphic content. Now you'll notice something here that the uh, SWF file that we imported through Lectora is now in here in the images folder. So now when when uh, this references that uh, folder, you'll be able to see the Flash movie. So when we preview, um, if we preview, you'll see that the uh, Engage movie displays. And that's handy for when we're working with it. Okay, once we have our um, SWF imported in here, and uh, I showed you we put the folder so that we can preview it, uh, what we need to do is just to set a parameter for this Flash movie. So we'll go into Properties, and we'll choose Parameters, and we'll go to Add, and uh, we'll choose W Mode, and type in opaque in here. Um, you'll notice there's a number of flash parameters uh, here that you can choose um, and in another tutorial we'll talk more about that but for now we'll choose that one and th the reason why we do this is because um, when we create a, an e-learning project we usually have a menu um, that will slide out on top of these flash moves and if you don't put that parameter there um, the menu will slide underneath it so this ensures that anything that displays on top um, that you've created in Electoral will um, will display properly. Um, you can go take a look at the uh, um, the posting earlier about how to build a slide out menu in Electoral if you want to see how that looks. So um, now that you have this um, Engage animation in here. You can add, um, you know, one on each page or wherever you like, right? Um, and you just have to make sure that each is una uh, named uniquely um, from the from whatever it was named before, and it, which is engage um, dot swf or engage underscore content. So uh, rename them unique uh, uniquely and put them in the images folder for now. Now, um, the next thing you have to remember to do is that uh, when you publish, uh, whether to HTML or SCORM, um, uh, and we'll do that right now, we'll just publish this simple title, which just doesn't really have much. Um, we'll say OK. OK, done. Um, what we'll have to do is take these um, this folder, any all these folders that we create, and we need to remember to put them in the output folder as well, in the images directory, and they need to be put here. Put details, and do a paste. And so all your folders also need to be put in here because when you export it, it'll just export the uh, SWF, um, but it won't include the directories. So you'll need to do this as well when you're exporting to uh, SCORM. And uh, I have the steps below that you'll need to follow as well for that. Because what will happen if you export to SCORM, there'll be a, a SCORM folder with an HTML folder inside it which, with an images folder in there. So remember to copy all your folders uh, for your engage interactions into those directories as well. Otherwise, when you um, when you when you run it, you won't find the uh, the interaction won't show up. You just get that uh, bar. So here is the uh, the um, little course, which is just not much here, but you'll see that it displays. And uh, anyways, I hope you uh, find this useful. Uh, Rick Moranta out from Pinched Head. Take care.